Okay, in the beginning solo, he start with the chords. It goes like this. All right, so what I'm doing is I play uh, a mute twice. Kind of mute the string twice. And then I play uh, D sharp and E power Side down. And you do it twice again, mute. And then D sharp to C sharp. And then you play this. So I'm doing 6 4 6 on the D string, 4 on fret on the G, 6 fret of D and G, pull off on 4 fret, and 6 fret of the A and D. So. Uh, next one I go to solo. Uh, someone asked me about uh, tabs when I do my songs, but sometimes when I have to like um, figure out the solo, like this one, I have to slow down the songs like down to 30%. Uh, I have to write down notes one at a time. Is what I, here's what I, here's what my look like. Here's what my tabs look like. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. So I kind of handwritten down, you know, like what frets and what strings I'm playing. That's kind of like my quick note on how to figure out the solo. That's all I use. Okay, the first lick of the solo goes like this. Again, uh, remember, I'll show you early on the G minor, uh, three finger, three notes per string shape. This is what basically what it is. So I'm, this is a lot of legato. I do on the fourth fret on the D string, hammer on to six and eight, and play the fourth fret on the uh, uh, G string. Now this is the uh, first position I show you on the G sharp minor. So you play fourth fret on the G string, slide down the third fret, and then hammer on the fourth and sixth fret on the G string. You pick on the fourth fret on the B string. So the whole thing slowly. Next part. So I play the fourth fret on the G string, slide up to sixth fret. Play the fourth fret again on the uh, B G string, slide down to third fret. Play the fourth fret again on the G string, slide up to sixth fret again. Uh, the next part, do this exact same thing I just showed you in the legato lick. Next part, uh, goes like there. You do that twice. So you go to the fourth fret on the uh, B string, you hammer on, pull off on fifth fret. Sixth fret on the G, back to fourth fret on the B. You do that same thing again. The next part, uh, you gotta, and then you gotta play the fifth fret on the B string, pull off on fourth fret, and play the sixth fret on the G string. Right to fourth fret on the uh, B string, hammer on, pull off again on the fifth fret. Right to sixth fret on the G. So far, we have this. After you play that, you go four, five, seven on the B string. Hammer on E four, seven on the B, and then four fret on the B string. Hammer on the fifth fret, six on the G, and then four, five, seven on the B. Hammer on. Pick on the fourth fret on the B, and then six on the G. Fourth on the G. Slide down the third. And then 6th again on the G string, pull off on 4th fret. And then 6, 4, 6 on the, uh, on the D string, hammer on, pull off. Pull off and hammer on. 
Well, let me play for you for whole, the whole long lick one time. If you play the whole the little whole long run fast, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so uh, so far we have this. Let's play the whole thing together from the top, uh, the solo. Play that, you go up like this. So you start up to 13th fret on the G and you play 12 and 14th fret on the B string. You do that twice. And the next part. Oh, so that whole lick goes like this. Let me play slowly for you. The, uh, the first part you go, you pick on the 7 and 9 on the E string. You play the uh, 11 fret on the E string and pull off to 9 into 7. And play the 9 fret on the e, B string. So, you do that three times, like just like that. Okay. Uh, on the on the fourth time, you just play uh, 11 fret, pull off, pull off 9 and 7, and you play the 9 fret on the B string. That's the fourth time. And then, uh, and then you do that again. The fifth time, you go 11, pull off a 9th and 7, but you don't go to the 9 fret on the B string, you go to 9 fret on the E string. Bend up a little bit, pull off to seven fret, and then you play nine fret again. Bend up, and you play this twelve, and then you play the uh, seven and six on the B string. So the whole thing goes like this slowly. Next part. So you play the seven on the f E string, pull off on six, and then nine on the B and nine on the G. So next part. So what I'm doing is I'll play uh, a mute to string twice. You play the 8th fret of D and G. A mute twice again. 6th fret of D and G. Mute twice again, 4th fret on D and G. I use my index finger on that. And you only mute one time. And you play 6th fret on the D and G. Pull off on 4th fret of D and G. And then six four six fret of B I'm sorry six fret of A and D and then four fret of A and D six fret of A and D and then mute twice and then third fret of D and G mute only one time this time 
and the fourth fret on the D and G. I'm play for you slowly one time. The next part, if you have a wow wow pedal, you can use that, and so you can and you just slide up from second fret on the uh, D, G, and B string to sixth fret. Do it three times, but you can use a wow wow to make the effect uh, sounds better. And after you do that. So I use, and then I'll play the 4th fret on the G string, pull off on the 3rd fret, 6th fret on the D, then play the octave. Uh, so all I'm playing is I play the 4th fret of E string, the 6th fret of D. I'm using my index finger blocking the A string so you won't hear the A string. So you're only hearing a G sharp note twice, the low octave and the high octave. So, yeah. 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 Okay, now we're at the tail end of the solo. Let me play it slowly for you one time what it sounds like. And I'll show you how to play it. So we end on this one. Alright, so that's the end of solo. Uh, what I'm doing is after you play the after you play the octave on the G sharp, you'll play this one. So I'm playing 6th fret on the D, pull off on 4th fret, 6th fret on the D again, and then 3 and 4 on the G, and then 4th fret on the G slap to 6th fret. And the next part, I'm sorry. So 6, 4, 6 on the G, and 4th fret on the B, Kind of got a dead stop, kind of a little bluesy to it. We play the fourth fret again on the B string, you bend up and release. And the next part. So it goes, uh, so it goes four, five, four, hammer on, pull off. Six on the G. Back to the fourth fret on the B. Do the same thing again. And then five, seven on the B. I use my ring finger on the seventh fret on the B, and then bend up, release, and we bend it back up again, just like that. You go from seven, you bend a full step to nine. So the whole thing we have so far with this. Next part, uh, four on the E string, and then seven on the B pull off in fifth, fifth fret and the fourth fret. You play the fourth fret again on the E, you hem on, pull off on the fifth fret twice. And then four on the B string, and sixth fret on the uh, G string, bend up, full step. And then four, six, four on the G. And then six again on the G string, bend up, release, and then slowly bend up. So the last part, actually you gotta pick it. So go E on the four E string on the fourth fret, and then seven five four on the B string. One more time. Oh, you go like this. Also, oh, the end of solo, the whole thing goes like this for me.
So that's the whole song. The I'll say solo, you repeat the whole thing again. Uh, and then the Sunset Superman part is a little longer than the first twice two times you hear. Uh, and then after that, uh, that's outro solo. I'm not going to show that to you, but it just go, goes on and on, singing the chorus over and over. So that's pretty much the whole song. It's one of my favorite solo uh, by Dio. And Craig Doty, Dream Evil, the entire album has some great solos in it. Uh, this one is uh, just very melodic. You use a, a, a natural minor scale uh, and blue scale and just pull off some very nice, uh, very nice notes. Uh, so hope you enjoy this song and thanks for watching.